Bring in now, though, U.S. candidate for Senate in Georgia, Herschel Walker. Herschel, great to have you on the program this morning. Hello. How are you guys doing? We're doing well. Uh, the question will be, how are you doing this morning? Um, the president of the United States, Herschel, had this to say about you. We'd love to get your reaction. Listen. I will be getting a lawyer. I will be suing the Democratic National Committee no matter what. Whether I uh, sorry, Herschel, that's not that's not the president. <laughs> that's wrong wrong that's wrong James wrong. Woods um, well, talking with Tucker last night. Um, I don't know if we have it. <laughs> OK, here we have it right here. This is President Biden talking about you, Herschel Walker. This is a choice, a choice between two men, one man who does not deserve to be in the United States Senate. There's lots of time both nominees deserve one just better than the other. One doesn't deserve to be in the United States Senate based on his ver veracity and what he said and what he hadn't said. The other man is a really, truly decent, honorable guy. So what you're doing makes a gigantic difference. Your reaction, Herschel? Well, my reaction is that, you know, y'all was talking about it earlier. The media has never been my friend. And you had the president to go to Massachusetts because he thought the senator that he was uh, really uh, uh, campaigning for was voting in Massachusetts. That's what he thought. He thought that's what he was voting for. And he said that, you know, I've never seen this guy didn't vote with me. Well, he don't understand that right now the media is not our friend. And I know that. And I thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to let you know that because of Joe Biden, we have these high gas prices. We have this high grocery prices. We have crime in the streets. Joe Biden and Raphael one is a fault of that. We have this open border, men and women sports. And this has been done in less than two short years. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many more years we can put up with it. And I thank you guys for giving people like myself time to come on air to tell the people what's going on because no one else is going to hear about it no one else is going to hear about it and i am one of those candidates that i believe in ask not what your country can do for you but ask what you can do for your country right now we need warriors out there we don't need politicians we need people that are going to fight for this country fight for your kids fight for my kids and fight for the right for people to have the right to speak like most so many people have died for Herschel, what you're saying is not just your opinion, it's factually correct. If you look at the Media Research Center, looked at network news coverage of your race, how they covered the Georgia Senate runoff, and 71% of the coverage was positive for your opponent, Raphael Warnock, 88% Negative for you. I mean, we're, we've been talking about Twitter and Elon Musk this morning and suppression, but that's how your race is covered. How do you overcome that? Well, you know, the way I overcome it by getting on you guys' air, and people think sometimes I'm crazy when I said go to teamherschel.com, go to teamherschel.com, because what Senator Warren not trying to do is buy this, buy this race. He's trying to buy this race. He can't run on a policy. You know, when I went to the debate to debate him, I wanted people at that time to see who was the senator. And if anyone had watched that debate, they would have saw that I was the senator. He couldn't come up with anything. He couldn't talk anymore because he had someone there that was going to call him on the things that he voted for. He voted against, you know, our energy independent. Anyone with any common sense know you don't go to your enemies or to dictators or to uh, uh, terrorists to ask for energy. Anyone out there know that you shouldn't have men and women sports. We should secure this board. Order. We should support our men and women in blue. We should get wokeness out of our military. That is common sense. But yet the media won't cover it. That's why I thank you guys for giving me this opportunity because I'm going to shout from the mountaintop that we have a problem. We have a problem because the media is hiding things from you. They're not telling you the truth. The truth is this is a good country. We're good people. We can work things out together. We got to quit fighting among each other and start worrying about the people across the ocean from us. That's what we should be worried about. Well, Herschel Walker, um, you're, you are a fighter. And as you know, with big tech and the media against you, you have to work twice as hard. You're doing that. We wish you luck in this race. It's an important one, not just for your state of Georgia, but for the country. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Herschel. Hey, thank you guys so much. And God bless. And tell people to get out and vote. Early voting is over, but we still got December the 6th. Vote, vote, vote. And we're going to win this election. All right. Got it. We'll be watching.